All right, so today we find ourselves in Matthew chapter 6, continuing in the Sermon on the Mount. And what I noticed today as I was praying through, I was like, God, there's so much. What do I share? Um, because we have um, how to pray, and we have the, you know, our Father who art in heaven, and he just teaches us how to pray. It's the one thing that the disciples actually ask him to teach them that he does. And then it goes into all these things that are just super good about about treasure and uh, not worrying and seeking. And what I began as I looked at this is really God's giving us this model prayer and then he fleshes it out for us in how we live this prayer, how we live this lifestyle. So if our starts out with, <coughs> our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name or your name be honored, you are holy. And that really goes back to like the way it goes to how the this chapter in when I seek him first that means putting him in his rightful place in my heart honoring who he is like speaking that out so that's how we start with our prayer um, then it goes into your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven and that takes me to um, the part in around verses 19 and uh, 20 and 21 where it says don't store up for yourself treasures of the earth but store up for yourself treasure in heaven for where your treasure is there your heart is like where my treasure is like I want to be a part of the kingdom of God and I want what's happening in heaven to happen here like in me through me that I am making I'm building God's kingdom not my own kingdom so your kingdom come your will be done give us today our daily bread that takes me to don't worry about your life or what you will eat or what will you will drink, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? And so here it's telling us, hey, look, if you pray for this, let me provide your daily bread, your manna. You're looking for a big old loaf of bread. I'm saying here's your manna for today. This is what you need for today. Don't worry about anything else right and then it says forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors in verse 14 and 15 it says if you forgive others of their offenses your heavenly father will forgive you as well but if you don't you will not and so this is this idea of hey even before the offense occurs god help me as you have forgiven me to offer forgiveness that quickly it's an opportunity to confess and forgive confess and forgive and it should be part of our daily life just like our daily bread is that we can forget we confess and we forgive um, and then it ends up the last line of the prayer is and do not bring us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one and when we're doing that it gets right back to the beginning like hey don't let me get off track don't let me get off track and start seeking things and being tempted by things. Get, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That word seek means crave. So we want to crave God first and most. And I don't want to trade in this identity of the father, of daughter of the king. I don't want to trade in my treasure. He is my treasure and I am his. I don't want to trade that in for these physical, temporary pleasures. So this is an opportunity, this prayer that God gives us, that Jesus models for us. It's, a, it's an opportunity for me to sweep my motives, sweep my life sweep my life clean to start fresh with him to to put my trust in him my my craving in him he is my treasure and all, all tuning my heart inward towards him he is the core of who i am that's what it means um when it says um for um, where your treasure is there your heart will be also that word heart it means it's your very center it's your very core like and this is it like put the core of who i am the heart of who i am god is to honor you for your kingdom to be built not my own kingdom that you would be my provider that i wouldn't worry about anything else but i trust you to for my daily manna that i would forgive as easily as you forgive me that i would pass out and be an agent of forgiveness that your forgiveness would come in me and pass through me and that you would keep me focused that i wouldn't trade things 
wouldn't trade things of this world. I wouldn't trade temporary pleasures for eternal treasure, eternal treasure. He is your treasure. God is your treasure, and I am his treasure. And that's how we live. And we get to pray this. Why do we not worry? Why can we um, not worry about our life or what we're going to eat or drink or wear? Why can we um, store up for treasures in heaven and not worry about working for worth down here? Because we've spent time in prayer with the one, the one who controls everything, who is our Father, who loves us the most, who treasures us. That's why. So I just love seeing how here's the prayer and then how here's how it fleshes out. Here's how you live as if you believe God is going to answer that prayer and you partner with him. What a gift. Have a great day.